That was Mr. Sam Hunter. He's an incredible talent. Speaking of incredible talents, I'd like to introduce you to my next guest. This is Bill Horn. Welcome to the show, Bill. Hey, Terry. It's great to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Bill, where you're from and what brought you to Nashville. Well, Terry, I'm from Ohio and um, near Columbus and came from Indiana originally. That's where I was born and just had a love of music all my life, raised in church, singing. And when I came here, I just um, wanted to sing. I happen to know personally that you're a great singer-songwriter. Would you share with us a little bit about your background and some of the things that influenced you? My background was in gospel growing up. My dad was a preacher. And my influences were the Happy Goodman family, Vestal Goodman, and the Hansons, the Rambos, you name it, all the traditional country singers. And Elvis Presley was a huge influence on me. And I guess just mixed it all together. And, and it came out Bill. And it came out me, I guess. <laughs> We were talking earlier, and if I remember right, you moved here in 1994. Yes, that's correct. After you moved here in 94, tell us a little bit about what you did as an aspiring gospel performer to get your career started. Well, Terry, when I moved here, I, I didn't know where to go, who to talk to or anything. I just had my music. So I started going to all these clubs and singing and found the Writer's Nights, and there were plenty of them in Nashville. I didn't play guitar at the time, so I had to kind of sit and listen and wanted to get on stage so bad I couldn't stand it. And then about a month later, I found your Writer's Night, and what a blessing that was. Well, we were really glad to have you. You've been a blessing as well. The musicians were so, I mean, talented, I couldn't believe it. And you could get up there and hand them your charts and learn from Mike Dunbar, your bass player. I probably drove him nuts asking, what's this chord? How do you do this? He taught me how to write charts, basically. He taught and, me how to write charts, yeah. too. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. It simplified everything so much. And the band, you always had great musicians at your Writer's Nights. That's because I don't play any better than you do, Bill. I surround myself with great musicians. Can you share just a little bit with us about what you've been doing with your music recently? I'm the song leader at our church, and um, I believe that that's the direction that God would have me go now is um, gospel music. Well, you've certainly got a gospel voice. Well, thank you. As a matter of fact, I've noticed there's quite a difference between your speaking voice and your singing voice. Can you tell us where that big gospel voice came from? The Lord has done so much in my life, and I feel that comes from my joy of knowing Him. I want to sing about Him and let people know who He is and what He's done for me. I hear a lot of tent singing in there, too. Yeah, that's from growing up in church, singing in revivals, mm -hmm. over top of the shouting and the running the aisles. I was raised up Pentecostal. The preachers were loud and the singers were loud and the women's hair was high. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know that most gospel performers grow up in a church environment, and having known both of your parents, I'd like you to share with us a little bit of the influence that they've had on your gospel career. I could talk all day about the, the things that we witnessed growing up, the power of God in our lives daily. It's just amazing what influence my father and my mother both had on me. And my mom was a praying mother, prayed me through everything. But she always believed in me. She you? always believed in me through it all. Both my parents did. They encouraged me to the fullest. And my dad's um, done gone on to where he was longing to go to. But I know he's looking down and um, he's, he's proud of what wrote him on. We're very privileged today to have you share one of your songs with us. Would you tell us a little bit about this song and how it came about? Well, Terry, the song's called In the Name of Jesus, and um, it's basically about my walk with the Lord. We all go through storms, trials, and that, but that you will have power and victory through, through the Lord and through God. Okay, folks, get ready. Bill's going to take you to church. This is Bill Horn performing In the Name of Jesus. Whose blood has overcome I'm covered 
artist with an inspiring message and with that we've come to the end of our very first show I know I've had a great time and I'd like to thank my guests Sam Hunter and Bill Horn and I'd like to thank you for watching I'm Miss Terry Lynn I hope you'll join me next time when we continue to go behind the sound